Hi, lovely Lighthouse people. It's a real joy being able to share my testimony with you today. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Mirta and I've been part of Lighthouse for the last three years now. I wanted to share my testimony of how I became Christian and um, just my initial journey with Christ and how He led me and provided and just how amazing He has been in my life. Uh, so I grew up in Croatia uh, in a rural part uh, very similar to Norfolk actually and I think that's why I love Norfolk so much um, in a large family of nine <laughs> my parents and uh, seven kids I was the youngest um, and I grew up with the knowledge of uh, knowing that God is my creator Jesus is my savior uh, which has been really wonderful to kind of grow up knowing that however when I was 11 it was the time when um, I've, I've um, kind of realized it's not just something I was brought up with, it's, it's, it's true to me and I really decided to accept Jesus as my personal savior and be his disciple. Uh, that was true treasure for me, I have to say, particularly at the time uh, there was a Balkan war happening in Croatia um, and in the midst of uncertainty and war, uh, I was able to have peace um, and just reassurance that God is a protector and he's a provider. And uh, fortunately, my parents were also a wonderful example to me in just trusting Lord in everything they did. Um, so yeah, I just kind of grew up in that uh, environment of just trusting God for provision when things just seemed impossible. Uh, we knew that God is going to provide a way. So when I was 16, I had a wonderful opportunity to come to England. Uh, my sister was living in England at the time, um, uh, so I came to visit her and we attended a conference, Christian conference called Stanley which has been a wonderful experience for me and I encountered the Holy Spirit in a way that I really haven't uh, done before. Uh, and what was really uh, great uh, for me then, someone also shared this great uh, picture of me which I, I believe applies to each one of us, uh, but I needed to hear it at the time. A picture of a diamond, uh, you know, when you find a diamond um, in in the rocks, wherever you find the diamonds, um, you know, they're just a lump of mud. Uh, it looks a bit like a stone uh, until you actually uh, take the dirt off and you shape it into a beautiful, precious diamond. Uh, and it's the Christ who really sees who we truly are, even though other people might look from outside and all they see is mud or they just see some kind of out of shape uh, person. God really sees you know, our true value, but he doesn't just leave us there as a lump. He is prepared to uh, wash our dirt away. He's, he's happy to uh, remove the parts that we don't really need um, and just uh, shape us in uh, his people, shape us in who he's created us to truly be so we can shine for him. And that really, really encouraged me and that really set up a perspective for me uh, to know that my value is in him and that uh, my identity is in him, who he sees me, I am. Not what other people see, and especially being a teenager at that time, uh, you know, you always kind of, um, uh, well, you're insecure and you, you question things. And I think I particularly felt quite unimportant and to the point of being embarrassed of myself. Uh, and that really kind of set me free for knowing I'm a child of God and uh, it didn't really matter what other people saw or thought about me. Uh, and anyhow, by the time I was 18, I finished my high school and I really had no idea what I wanted to do with my life, but I just really wanted to follow Christ. I really wanted him to show me uh, the way forward. So I thought, oh, what about going back to England and uh, improving my English and just seeking God's uh, plan for my life. So I came uh, as an au pair and I stayed with a wonderful family um, and uh, I was fortunate to have a great church close by where I continued to grow uh, in my relationship, which helped me to grow in my relationship with Christ. But just being away from the family was a great experience where I really had to trust and rely on Christ in everything um, for him to comfort me, to lead me, to give me wisdom in decision making. And uh, throughout that time, I also met uh, quite a few creative friends, which inspired me because uh, being a creative person, it's something I always wanted to pursue career and creativity, but um, I just felt it was a bit of a luxury. It wasn't something I could really afford to do. Uh, but then as I prayed about it, um, I was just getting more excited about the idea, so I shared you know, with the family I was living with, and they said, you know, if you're happy to stay, we would be really happy 
you know, for you to live with us and we will support you, which was, you know, uh, something I just couldn't really imagine someone would be, would be so gracious. Uh, uh, so kind of praying for God's provision and praying for His um, wisdom in all this, uh, particularly, you know, I could see so many obstacles. I would have to get a student visa. I would have to well, pay international fees, which were extortionate, and there was absolutely no way of me ever being able to earn that. Uh, um, and I think one of the things that you know God really reassured, well He reassured me in many ways, but one thing that really meant uh, a lot to me is when one day I just came back home and there was an envelope with uh, with uh, my name on it, <laughs> uh, and I just opened it up and there was a thousand pounds cash, just saying spend it wisely, and it was a, a wonderful. Uh, reassurance that God will provide no matter what kind of fees I had to pay, no matter uh, you know, obstacles that might face my way, He is my provider and it wasn't just the money, it, you know, He would equip me uh, to be able to study in a different language uh, and um, He will guide me, He will give me wisdom. Um, so just wanted to really share that with you because uh, sometimes we see so many obstacles in our lives and uh, which, because they are but God, our God is such a great God and uh, He holds the universe. Uh, there is really nothing that is impossible for Him and if it is His will, if we seek His will, He will open the doors, He will provide, He will guide us and in the midst of all that He will give us peace and we are never alone on our journey. He is always there alongside um, so yeah, just wanted to share it with you. Uh, and one more verse that uh, always kind of um, carries me and always come back to is, don't worry about anything, uh, but pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all that He has done. And the peace of God that transcends all the understanding will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Bless you.